colleagues worldwide, there are at least seven good reasons for you to come to Denmark in 2020 and acquaint yourself with Danish agriculture. The first reason is that we are organizing IFAJ 2020, which will take place from June 24th to June 28th, 2020. We are so eager to show you Danish agriculture under the theme Farming Today for the Society of Tomorrow. The second good reason for visiting us next year is that Danish agriculture is in the world elite with regard to seed, mink, pork, and dairy production. In addition, the organic farming sector in Denmark is significantly large and rapidly expanding. The third reason is that we can feed our own population three times over. Almost half of our agricultural export is sold as high-value products. The environmental effects of Danish agriculture on the soil, water and atmosphere have been reduced significantly, while at the same time, fruit production has increased significantly. That is reason number four for coming to Denmark and having a look around. A fifth reason is that Danish farmers and researchers collaborate to develop an agricultural sector that addresses climate change and society's transformation to green energy. Reason number six is all about promoting biodiversity. Nature conservation, afforestation, establishment of wetlands, and new types of nature all play an increasingly more important role in Denmark's intensive farming. Last but not least, the seventh reason. Danish farmers help ensure that rural communities remain active and vibrant. and that there is access to nature, outdoor activities, and recreational areas. However, the good results don't come by themselves. The public debate about Danish agriculture can be difficult and is often filled with conflict. However, with constant dialogue and discussions with politicians and NGOs, farmers, businesses, and researchers find solutions that benefit farming and society. Intensified legislation also promotes development in this direction. You might think she's boasting, but take it from a farmer like me, she isn't. I think you should come and see for yourself at the IFAJ Congress in 2020.